When I think of a barbershop, the first thing that comes to mind is that pole that's outside. It's white, red, and blue, I believe, and it turns. Also on the inside, you know, I see a couple of guys standing with scissors, some leather, comfortable leather chairs. That's what I think of a barbershop. Now, nowadays, a lot of times the barbershop fragrances are a little bit reminiscent of older times. And I have picked out some fragrances that remind me of a barbershop that you can totally wear today and smell awesome. Hi there, I'm Peter. I'm glad that you're here and we're gonna get right into it. The first one that we're gonna start with is one from 1959 and it was originally created in Germany. Back in those days, it was one of the most sold and most worn fragrances for its time. It's this one right here. Of course, this is a new one. I don't have the original 1959, but this is a re-release from 2015 because they've kind of brought it back. And this will absolutely give you the old timey sort of barbershop feel. It's a really wonderful scent and you can get this one nowadays for a really good price. You'll have some chamomile, you have some lavender, and there's a little warm amber. And there's also some sandalwood and musk to finish it off. Beautiful scent for a good price that will make you feel like you're sitting in a barbershop back in the 1950s. Another one that's really amazing to wear today that you can still wear is a fragrance from 1970 and it is called Royal Copenhagen. What I have here is a splash. Now today, 1970 Royal Copenhagen, I probably wouldn't wear the splash. What I would do, or what I do actually, is I would wear the Royal Copenhagen and I would wear the Musk version of it. To me, this is a little bit more of an updated version and it's not quite as dated as the original Royal Copenhagen. It's a beautiful scent, updated in 1974, so it's still a little bit on the older side. But what you'll have in this one compared to the original Royal Copenhagen, will have some lavender, cloves, and nutmeg. Beautiful scent, you can totally rock this one today and smell great and it'll be reminiscent of the good old days of the barbershops. Another beautiful fragrance that is from sort of back in those days, maybe even a little bit earlier, is a 1934 fragrance and it is Pour un Homme de Caron. Now, let me tell you, this fragrance right here is probably one of the most influential fragrances for that time and even today. It has a massive following of novice and experts alike. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Pour un homme de caron. I mean, you can wear this today and no one will smell like you. Originally launched in 1934, this one has lavender, musk, and has a ton of followers. Great fragrance. And you can get these so far for a really good price. Okay, okay, okay. You're probably thinking, oh my God, is he just going to talk about fragrances from a different century? I had to tell you about these because you can totally wear these today and smell fabulous and you will get compliments on them because every single one of those is that good. But now let's move into the new century. How about we do an Italian one? I have an Aqua de Parma Essenza from 2010. This is an Italian barbershop fragrance, top quality performance as far as the longevity is concerned. Really great performer. Although there is no lavender in this one, there's some pedigree, some rosemary, and a touch of rose will give you the barbershop feel in sort of an Italian gentleman's way. Then again, you could wear just about any of the Aqua de Parma fragrances and it will feel a little bit sort of a barbershop sense. At least to me, they all sort of feel like they could be from a barbershop. A really nice one. The next one we're gonna do is gonna be one from Rojas. Mustache originally launched in 1949. There's this one right here. This one has all the elements of a classic barbershop fragrance. You have the lavender, you have the violet, you have the, a little bit of musk in it, it gives a little bit of a dirtiness. You have some patchouli and some moss. This one is a bit harder to wear because it's just a little bit on the dated side. What I would say is get the new release from 2018. It was re-released and it is Rojas Mustache and it actually comes in a bigger bottle. You see that right here, it's 125 mil. And it was completely revamped also fits perfect into our barbershop fragrance scents. It's a gorgeous scent, 
recreated by Natalie Gracchacetto. She did an amazing job revamping this old classic from 1949, completely bringing it into the new century. What you'll have here is going to be some rose, some cedar, there's a little bit of patchouli and some resinous vanilla. This is an excellent scent for a really good price and it's 125 milliliters, so it's gonna last a long time and you'll smell absolutely fabulous in sort of a modern barbershop kind of way. This is a great point for you to leave a like if you get anything out of this at all. Maybe even subscribe for more fragrance content. I would love to have you on board. Thanks in advance. Now I have to backtrack just a little bit because we just did the original Rojas from 1949. And there is one that people still wear today that's along the lines of the original Rojas. And it's a Dior. Dior from 1966 and it is Eau Sauvage. People still wear this wonderful fragrance today. It is sort of a timeless scent. This is a newer flacon here actually. It has the magnetic top. I think the older ones don't, they don't come with that. But it still retains the uh, original DNA to a good degree. One day I'm gonna get an older bottle. The perfumer behind this one was Edmund Rudnitska in 1966. And what we're gonna have here, we're gonna have some rosemary, we're gonna have some basil, and a touch of spicy caraway. So it's along the lines of the original Rojas that we had a minute ago, but it is a little bit more contemporary and it held up just a little bit better than the Rojas did. People still wear this one today and you'll smell absolutely fabulous. So if you see it out there, you can grab it and you can wear it and you will get compliments because it is that good. It's a top-notch barbershop scent with a hefty dose of elegance, 100% timeless, wearable today without a problem. All right, let's not stay in the past too long. Even though this is a pretty good one from the past, you wouldn't even know it's from the past. Let's go to 2014 and we're gonna go to the house of Margiela or Replica as you might know it. Replica has a fragrance called At the Barbers. How convenient. It shares the memory of Madrid in 1992 at the Barbers. The fragrance itself features notes of basil, lavender, some rosemary, and there's some leather in this fragrance. It's actually a quite nice one. Now, unfortunately, I believe that this one is no longer available. I think it may have been discontinued. I did not see it on their lineup, so it may have been discontinued. I picked this one up at an online seller not too long ago, which actually gave me the idea at the barbers, why not? So you can still find this one online sellers, but don't let it you know, pass you up. It's a really nice one if you're into the barbershop scents. Some people have said that this one smells like Platinum Egoist uh, or Draca Noir. To me, it kind of has sort of some similarities. It doesn't smell like either or, but I can see where people kind of pick out, you know, the Egoist, the Platinum Egoist or the Draca Noir. I can see where that could be sort of in the air. So if you like those two scents, then you're guaranteed going to like At The Barber's from Replica or The House of Margiela. If I were going to get a shave and a haircut, I would like to smell like Penhaligon's when I'm done. And the tragedy of Lord George by Penhaligon's is the fragrance that I would choose. Expensive, elegant, and stylish. It's exactly what I imagine from an elegant Englishman after a cut and shave. This beautiful fragrance created by Alberto Marias is absolutely stunning. I love how creamy it is. It has some warm woods, it has some amber, and is finished off with just the right amount of brandy. Perfect. Those were my fragrances that I chose for, I consider them barbershop fragrances. I hope you agree with me. Let me know which ones do you wear that you consider barbershop fragrances. Maybe I'll pick some up. I hope you had a good time. If you did, don't forget to leave a like or maybe even subscribe for more fragrance content. I would love to have you on board. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice and I will talk to you soon.